Six years after the Volkswagen emission scandal broke up, criminal liability is now being negotiated in a fraud case. The procedure in Braunschweig begins, however, without the man who, as the ex-CEO, is at the center of the affair. Who knew what when? For six years, this question has been at the center of the legal review of the so-called Dieselgate. The eagerly awaited criminal trial on the man manipulation affair at Volkswagen begins, uh, began on Thursday. Because of the corona situation, the fraud procedure had to be postponed several times and now it starts in the Braunschweig City Hall. The district court wants to clear up the alleged personal responsibility of Volkswagen executives for one of the biggest German economic scandals of all. The scandal was exposed in September 2015 when the US Environmental Protection Agency informed the EPA of tampering with emissions tests on diesel cars. Shortly before, Volkswagen had admitted incorrect test results. A few days later, CEO Martin Winterkorn resigned. An industrial crisis of unimagined proportions took, took its course. For several years now, numerous courts have been dealing with aspects of civil law, such as compensation for consumers or investors. For the legal costs alone, more than 32 billion euros have been accrued or set aside at Volkswagen. In the meantime, a compensation deal has been negotiated with Winterkorn, other former top managers and liability insurers for a total of 280 million euros. In the Braunschweig City Hall started yesterday, the criminal responsibility of Volkswagen executives um, will be dealt with there. Four ex-managers are on trial on charges of commercial and gang-like fraud with manipulated software in millions of cars and other criminal offenses. The alleged crime period dates back to 2006. According to the Public Prosecutor's Office, the accused were responsible for deceiving authorities and customers with the illegal software. Accordingly, the four of them knew that illegal defeat devices in these diesel engines were only used in tests for the targeted reduction of nitrogen oxide emissions. The prosecutors are convinced that the defendants also wanted this procedure for over 9 million Volkswagen, Audi, Seat and Skoda cars. The management team is said to have helped develop the program or not to have prevented its further development. From the beginning, many questions were directed towards the actions or omissions of ex-chairman Winterkorn. He resigned and thus assumed a kind of general responsibility for what had happened, but at the same time asserted that he was not aware of any wrongdoing. Nevertheless, the once highest paid manager of all DAX companies is now the most prominent defendant. So far, the former Audi boss and Volkswagen co-board member Rupert Stadler, who is on trial in Munich, was the highest group representative. Winterkorn will not appear in Braunschweig at the start of the trial because his trial was cut off before the start of the trial for health reasons and was postponed to a later date. The public prosecutor has lodged a complaint against the separation, by the way. It has been more than two years from the indictment in uh, April 2019 to the start of the trial. The judges in charge initially, initially asked the prosecutor to rework and even exacerbated some of the allegations. The kickoff was later postponed twice due to the corona situation. Nobody expects a quick trial in, in Braunschweig. A total of 133 um, trial days are currently planned until 2023. It is still unclear what consequences the prosecutor's complaint against the separation of the Winterkorn part of the proceedings could have. A spokeswoman for the higher regional court in Braunschweig said that those involved could still comment on this until September 28th. Only then will the responsible Senate advise and decide. So begins the trial, at the end of which there could be a possible imprisonment of up to 10 years, initially without one of the main characters in the Volkswagen diesel affair. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.